people are harder to believe, and I, and I say this in all of my classes that I teach. I don't believe anyone right now going into retirement should have more than 50% of their money invested in anything with a risk of loss. Right. Truly. And and some people are like, well, how could you say that? I've done really good in the market. That's great. Yeah. Um, Until you don't. But if I take you through my process, mm -hmm. and if you knew with what you tell me you need, and, and I'll tell you, over 80% of the people I meet with, with what they tell me they need, if they never made a dollar and never lost a dollar, would be fine for the mm -hmm. rest of their life. Yeah. They just don't know how to put the puzzle together, especially the taxes. Mm -hmm. So if you knew today with what you had, if you never made a dollar and never lost a dollar, that you'd be fine for the rest of your life, why do you have all of your money invested in something to take that away from you? Sure. And like I started with, I cut my teeth in 07 and 08. Oh yeah. Right? And I saw that yeah. and I said, never, I'd never want to be the advisor where my client has to live through and that. That'll give you scars no man can see. Correct, and, and so uh, we do our planning and our process through that, and there are ways to do that, right? Mm -hmm. You talk about bonds. We're in a rising interest rate environment now. Everyone's been told, modern portfolio theory, right? As you get older, you're more conservative. Well, Wall Street's comprised of two products, stocks and bonds, however right. you want to wrap it in whatever shell, right? right? Okay, so um, bonds have been going down since the 80s. Yeah. Right? So we could always, on a volatile period of time, right, since the 80s, go into bonds, mm -hmm. limit our losses, get a decent rate, yeah. and that's how we would manage, and then get back into equities as you see fit. The world has changed. Yeah. That doesn't work anymore. Well, since the 401k was introduced, um, for most of the time that baby boomers have accumulated their 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 funds or their assets have grown in a 401k plan or a, a company plan of some kind, t roughly 2% of that gain each year came from bond market right. between 1983 and oh, 2015 roughly. Right. And, and, and you look at this and, and people this year, they're like, well, I, I don't understand this. You know, um, I'm getting hit on both sides, mm -hmm. right? The, the, the U.S. Treasury 10-year notes, which is a great benchmark for interest rates in this country, right? Year to date, I mean, it's, what's the April 1st? Mm -hmm. Right. So it's been three months. The 10-year Treasury notes, notes are up over 50% year to date. Rates have risen 50%. So if you pull up any basic bond fund, and I'll oh. just use Vanguard's long-term bond index fund, BLV, it's down 10% year to date. Right. That's worse than the S&P. Yeah. yeah. So... So, but that's the stable part of your portfolio. Correct. Stocks and bonds. Right. The bonds for stability. Right. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and so maybe we need those bonds. Or I don't want to have all my money at risk. Are there other asset classes to take what I have in bonds? And I'm in bonds for a conservative rate of return, mm -hmm. but it has a loss. Are there but asset classes? you're losing classes? money safely. Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah. So are there investments where I could move that money from bonds that still earn an average rate, four to six, yeah, and have no down. Sure. There are. Absolutely. And a yeah. lot of people don't know what those are, yeah. right? Um, well, that's what we help them plan with. Yeah, and right. That's, and that's, again, the difference between working with an investment advisor or working with just uh, trying to get the attention, like you said, being on hold for 30 minutes. Yeah. Uh, you know, you've got to have large, large amounts of money now for the uh, with the wirehouse firms to treat you like, uh, you know, with personal service. And, yeah. Um, well, we all, all only have so much time left. I think that's one of the things that really comes through, Landon, talking about your practice is at every turn, it's uh, people realizing their purpose, quality of life, what are they trying to do? And it's, uh, and that's evident, you know, that comes right. through uh, in the planning yeah. and being able to say, in our, around our shop, what we talk about is uh, a, a client of mine coined a phrase for us, oh gosh, five, six, eight years ago, uh, plenty of money, plenty of pensions, guaranteed income, much more than they spend. Right. Um, and sweet, sweet lady, uh, she and her husband, uh, uh, I count them as friends for 16 years now. Yeah. But she just said, Wally, she said, okay, I think I understand that we have enough, but what I don't understand is what do we do when the paychecks stop? Right. When the paychecks stop. And it was such a profound question yeah. because it really got right at the heart of it. 
Yeah. And you know, one of your answers would be, well, when the paycheck stops, do you have enough to live life? Do you yeah. have enough to enjoy yourself? Right. And if so, how, where do you want to be worried about? Do you want to sleep well at night? Right. Or you don't want to worry about the market going up and down because yeah. you have unnecessary risk. Yeah, you know, it, it's quite daunting. People think, oh, I'm gonna retire, I'm gonna leave it all in the market and take just distributions off of it. Yeah. Right? I will tell you, the only people called to me in March of 2020 when the market dropped 33% from February 19th to March 23rd, right, S&P dropped 33%, only people that called me are the people that don't listen, all their money's in the market and they're living off of it. Yeah. Who yeah. wants to live that kind of stressful retirement? Yeah. Right? And, and the call goes, Landon, I, I can't afford to lose, right? I, I gotta make this last. Then why do you have it all in the market if you can't That's afford right. to lose, right? Yeah. And, and, and so what I'll tell them, you know, um, it's not a lot of advice, oh, just write it out. No, if you, we need to go to cash, we, we can go to cash, right? And we'll try to pick the best timing and most likely dollar cost average in. But we wanna take that fear out. I would encourage everyone, structure your retirement like your working years. All right, Social Security is going to be a paycheck, right? Mm -hmm. uh, if I if, if I board the first through the tenth of the month, right? I'm the second Wednesday, the eleventh through the twentieth. I'm the third Wednesday, and the twenty-first right. through the end, I'm the last Wednesday of the month. So whenever that's coming in, you you have that set. That's defined by Social Security. Then my other income, whether it's pensions, maybe your annuities, whatever it may be, you separate that out two weeks. If you're used to getting paid every two weeks, mm -hmm. structure your income in retirement like your working years. And, and the truth of the matter is, when you do, nobody got, nobody that I meet with got to where they're at, close to retirement age, without learning to live off what's coming in. Right. That's some of the best advice. So, if you structure your income in retirement, like your working years, where it's coming in every week or every two weeks, mm -hmm. we tend to learn off, live what's up coming in, right? Right. And you want that, try to structure that. What my goal is to try to structure all of what they need coming in guaranteed. The rest of the money, yep, let's invest it in the market for that higher rate of return. I don't have to hold a lot of bonds, right? Yeah. Because yeah. I don't need the safety side yeah, when it, all my money's that. not in it. Yep. Uh, we want to try to grow it. And that's my client's luxury portfolio. Mm -hmm. They want a second home. They want to cruise around the world. Mm -hmm. Whatever they want to do. And if that all disappeared because of really bad markets or economy or whatever happens in this world, they're still going to be okay because their income's where they need it to be guaranteed. 